You ready for hurricane season? We certainly hope so. It starts in about two weeks. It's right here at our doorstep, right? One of the most talked about topics certainly during any hurricane season is the power. Anger Jay Cashmere live for us tonight in Okeechobee County. As part of our hurricane preparedness tour that we've kicked off, Jay, you did speak with Florida Power Light officials today about improvements made now to keep the lights on. Shannon and Michael, yeah, FPL certainly put their mark on this area and powered up a huge plan uh, several years ago. And speaking of Mother Nature powering up a beautiful backdrop for us right now, storms firing up around the coast here, uh, around Lake Okeechobee on the dike here. We got sunshine coming in and this absolutely gorgeous rainbow. Had to point that out before we left. But a uh, beautiful backdrop tonight. But last fall, it was certainly a much different backdrop here in this area. Okeechobee County, one of the hardest hit areas when Ian swept through here down trees, down power lines. But one thing they had going for them was a hardened grid out here. And as you mentioned, Shannon, we followed FPL uh, over the last week talking about this hardened grid and this system that they've had their eye on for the last decade. Over an hour from the east coast of Florida, Okeechobee County comes into focus. From the iconic lake to the heart of this community, residents here have weathered many storms. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've experienced a couple of really bad hurricanes. Ken Keller moved here from Ohio 13 years ago and learned quickly, get a plan and know what to do. I felt more prepared, first of all. Um, you know, had my hurricane supplies all ready to go. That was his impression of riding out hurricane season 2022. A season that left an impression on this entire area for one simple fact. After Hurricane Ian last year, nearly all customers in Okeechobee County had their power back on 24 hours after the storm exited the state. FPL, the country's largest utility, has been working in this county for years to harden the grid. So this particular line is one of the original ones that we started hardening back in 2008. Vic Spruill is FPL's hardening manager for this region. We have essentially hardened all the main circuits. It's his job to transform power lines around here to withstand hurricane force winds. In Okeechobee County, we have hardened over 250 miles. It's been a Herculean effort, not just in Okeechobee, but across the state. Miles of infrastructure have been strengthened, and it doesn't stop there. We built in storm facilities that we can actually house crews to ride out a category four or five storm. So that as soon as the storm passes, we can have 200 crews out ready to work in your local community to get the lights back on. It's a massive hardening project that powered up over a decade ago and wrapped up in 2021, delivering a powerful recovery plan for the 24,000 customers who call this place home. Let's get your plan together now. Make sure you know what you're going to do. If you're going to, you know, if you're going to evacuate, you know, have a plan where you're going to go. And not only is FPL making this grid stronger out here, they're also making it smarter. They've installed 1,400 smart devices on the grid. That'll turn the lights on a lot quicker. They'll identify the problems during a hurricane, and of course, after a hurricane, much quicker. And when you think about it out here, another big factor is vegetation. There's a lot of vegetation out here, much more dense out here than what we're dealing with on the coastline. This year alone, FPL tells me they'll clear vegetation and maintain 700 miles of power line activity here. Power line uh, restoration that is of the vegetation year round that's keeping all that debris clear when a storm if and when a storm comes through this area. So it's a big massive effort out here. They've got their eyes on it and our chief meteorologist Steve Weagle has our eyes on our weather forecast as well tonight along with our hurricane prep tour. He's across town with me tonight. Hey Steve. Hey, Jay. Yeah, just a couple of miles north. And when you think back to last year, this was the only spot in our viewing area that had hurricane force winds. Uh, that was in Ian as it made landfall and moved inland on that evening. Uh, the winds uh, really, really intense in spots uh, just at the airport, just about a mile north here. Uh, 75 mile an hour winds at one point briefly. And of course, the power outages were extensive. Uh, even for inland areas, we think, you know, we're most susceptible along the coastline, but inland areas feel the effects of hurricanes too. And that's why we're here in Okeechobee uh, to get you ready for hurricane season. Our hurricane road show and weather spotters training is at the Okeechobee library here tonight at seven o'clock. You can drop by and uh, you know, if you if you're a budding photographer, everyone has an iPhone and Android and uh, post their pictures on social media. 
Why not uh, post those and uh, send us reports of the weather in your area tonight, Okeechobee County, uh, where we will be training you and registering you as a WPTV weather spotter. You can do that tonight starting at 7. Uh, drop on by, say hello, and of course we're going to give uh, some tips on staying safe this hurricane season too. So uh, definitely join that. It has been a busy day on the radar too with strong storms and John Gerard's been tracking all of it. Uh, John, still going to stay busy for the next few hours, I suspect.